knows that we get our energy from food, but how much energy is actually in food and how much of that do we really need? Now remember, if you want to try any of these experiments at home, make sure you put on your lab coat. This has nothing at all to do with the experiment, but it's very important to let people know that you're a scientist and not a pyromaniac. We can release the energy in food in the form of heat and light by burning it. Today we're going to be burning some cheesels. Here's one I prepared earlier. As you can see, this cheesel is burning quite nicely. That's because it contains a lot of energy for its size. It's about 30% fat. We measure energy in kilojoules. About 13 grams of cheesels, which we have here, is equal to about 300 kilojoules, which is the same amount of energy that your body uses in an hour of sleep. Let's get it lit. was pretty good, but you know what? I'd like an even bigger one. This is 100 grams of cheesels, or 2,500 kilojoules. That's the same amount of energy that you would use if you rode your bike for an hour. You need to eat about 10,000 kilojoules a day to survive. Of course, this varies a little depending on your age, height, weight and your activity levels. Now 10,000 kilojoules is four boxes of cheesels. Of course you don't actually want to survive off four boxes of cheesels a day because you'll run into a lot of nutritional problems such as scurvy. However, a couple of cheesels won't hurt. 